people welcome to my channel I'm Arpita Karva and this is a video wherein I'm going to give you a very simple blueprint on how you can complete people in environment which is one of the most important units of UGC net paper one I'm sure that all of you must be anxious because exam is coming nearby and you have not yet started people in environment. There is so much to study and you don't know what to study, what to concentrate on and what to leave. So this video is aimed for all those who have not yet started people in environment and who want to complete this monster like unit in less than an hour. In this video, I'm going to tell you the three most important sections on which you have to focus if you want to get good marks in the people in environment section. I'm also at the end going to reveal three key portions which you have to skip all together because from these three portions no questions are asked these days. So make sure you watch the video till the end so that you exactly know what to study and what not to study because I strongly believe in the idea that it's not about the hard work it's about the smart work you should always know how to work smartly so that you can get more marks in less amount of effort and time so without wasting any more time let's jump right into the topic but before that if you want to stay updated with all these revision video series make sure you subscribe to my channel you can also follow me on all the social media platforms so that you get notified about my latest videos videos updates about UGC net examination. So let's start. If you look at the major important topics that are asked in UGC net exam from the section people and environment, the topic which will be on the top of the list would be major pollutants and their sources. I was analyzing the previous year paper and I was amazed to see that every year out of five two questions are asked from this section so you can very well imagine how important this section is and only by looking at these pollutants and their sources you can easily get those two questions right so if you look at the important pollutants you will figure out that there are substances like carbon monoxide which is produced by the incomplete combustion of fuel that means when we are running vehicles or during this transportation of ours a lot of carbon monoxide is released in the air another important pollutant is methane which is produced during the production of coal also, agricultural practices is one of the major sources of methane. There are a lot of other pollutants like sulfur dioxide, nitrogen oxide, particulate matter, ozone, all these things you need to take care when you are jotting down the important pollutants for this particular unit. Make sure that you understand both the things. The question can be asked either of the ways. Either they can ask you that carbon monoxide is produced a maximum in which of these particular activities or they can ask you that vehicles or transportation leads to the production of which particular pollutant. So either way the question can be asked and if you are very sure about the answer then nobody can take those four important marks from you. So make sure that today itself just after watching this video you make a list of all the important pollutants and their major sources. Another important thing which is asked from people in environment unit is the per capita consumption or per capita emission. Now you will be surprised to know that at least one question is asked every year where we are given a list of countries and they ask us to put them in an order uh, in which the country which is consuming a particular thing at the highest is at the top and the country which is producing a particular thing at the lowest is at the bottom of the list. For example, in December 2017, there was a question that rank these countries according to the per capita consumption of energy. On the other hand, there was another question in July 2018 where they asked us to rank the countries according to the per capita water consumption. And can you know the, uh, you know, can you tell me the answers of these two questions? So if you look at the per capita energy consumption, then Russia is the country which is at the top. If you look at the per capita water consumption, then it is USA. My question to you is that which country do you think 
tops the list of CO2 emission. If you know the answer, put that in the comment section below. And I love to see what you have to reply. And how do you know uh, if this question comes in the exam too? So Google the answer if you don't know and make sure you feed it in your brain because this might turn up in the exam this year. Another interesting trend that I have seen in last two years is that a lot of questions they are asking about meteorological disasters which they were not asking before that. January 2017 then again in June 2018 I have seen them asking questions about world meteorological organization. There was another question in the paper where they asked us to tell which of the natural disasters listed is a part of hydrometeorological disaster and the correct answer was tsunami then they were also asking questions about meteorological hazards so make sure that you study a bit about hydrometeorological disasters or meteorological disasters so that if they ask you a tricky question you can answer it this time in the exam now that we have looked at three most important topics which you must study for the unit people and environment, you should also know what you don't need to study at all because these topics are the ones from which they are not asking any questions these days. It is very important to know what not to study even before knowing what to study. Why is that? Have you ever seen a person climbing up a mountain very quickly so that he can be on the top for the first time? But then once he climbs to the top of the mountain, he realizes that he has climbed a wrong mountain. He wanted to climb another mountain, but he did not see which mountain he is climbing and he just keep on going on and on and on and he regret his decision. The same thing happens with a lot of students. We start reading so much about people and environment or some other topic and later we realize that whatever we have read, that doesn't make any sense because that is not important from exam point of view. So I am here to tell you some topics which you should ignore if you are running short of time and you want to complete people in environment from UGC net point of view. The first important topic which you should not study at all are the definitions on environment and the definitions on the ecosystem. For example, they might uh, give you definitions on atmosphere, lithosphere, who are producers, who are composers, who are decompositors. Now, these questions are not ours from past 4-5 years. So, I am assuming that the same trend would be followed and no more questions would be asked on these topics. So, you can exclude it from your study uh, pattern. Another important thing that they don't ask is population pyramid and food chain. I have seen a lot of UGC net books having this information. If you are reading from any of these books, make sure you skip this portion because they have never asked any question from population pyramid or from food chain. Another thing that you can skip very calmly and without any regret is the national reserves and the bio biological reserves in the national parks. So if you look at these list of biological reserves that are being given in the UGC net books, you will feel horrified. You will feel as if you will never be able to learn all of them. But let me tell you, there's a good news. You don't have to learn any of them because they are not asking any questions on national parks or biological reserves. So you can keep that aside and only focus on the three topics that I have given. Also, if you're very eager to study more, you can study more about the natural disasters like earthquake, floods, tsunami, landslides because they are asking a few questions these days from these topics also. So with that note, I would like to take your leave. I've tried to give you a very simple blueprint following which you can easily in hour or so complete the entire people and environment portion without feeling as if you have not touched it at all. So it's always good to do something rather than leaving the topic completely. So it's better that you just study these portions. And if you're lucky enough, all the five questions would be from what we discussed on even if you you're not so lucky I'm telling you that at least three out of five questions would be from what we've discussed in this video so with that note I would like to take your leave before that if you've not yet subscribed to the channel I think you have good reasons to do that also 
make sure that you follow me on all the social media platforms if you want to look at the previous year papers of UGC net paper 1 or paper 2 solve previous year papers are available on my website arpitakarva.com link is in the description box below we'll meet very soon in the next video lecture till the time we meet next happy learning keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpitakarva.com